Hey folks, Tinker Man here. How y'all doing? Well, I'm out here waiting on Justin and his family to show up and my wife so we can do some camping. I got it to myself. So hey, it's time to do some reviews. I've had people ask me to do some and I put it off and uh, deal with Hartland. He suggested me doing some. Um, told me it helped me with my channel too, so. Nah, why not? Everybody else doing it. Y'all might always hear my opinions on it. I just did the boots. Now we're going to go with the rest of my protective gear on the uh, dirt bike. I got these here. Roost Guard Fox put out. Um, I don't know if they have a name on it, but it's Fox anyway. Um, it has protection for the side of your shoulder, top of your shoulder, roost, back. I doubt if the camera's going to pick it up. I don't know where that comes from or what that is. Must mean why I brought my cocaine in. But um, anyhow, before anybody says anything, I've never done drugs, okay? I was born messed up. I don't need drugs. But uh, if y'all can tell the my little fox, he's falling off. And it's the scratches across here. For those who have been watching me for a while, the video where I sprung my wrist, I actually fell and landed on a big root and slid across it. As hard as I hit, if I wouldn't have had this protection, I would have at least minimum had good bruise on my chest, if not crack my sternum. So, yeah, I think it's well worth wearing. And uh, granted, it's hot, humid down here in Louisiana, and uh, sometimes it gets annoying during the summer. But I keep thinking back when I hit that root, because I don't know if you ever been hit hard in the chest until that sucker. Uh, heals it hurts to cough sneeze breathe or anything else um, but I sprung my wrist but majority of my weight hit on the chest and uh, I didn't even have a bruise on the chest didn't really didn't really feel it just felt duck and that's about it but uh if you want to do some trail riding I will get you a good roost guard and I like these with the shoulder protection, you know. Um, that's why I went with it. Sometimes this does get a little annoying, but hey, if I fall to a side or something, you know, it'll help out a little bit. So that's on that. Now this here is, uh, I got that cycle gear in uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. Justin Myers sucker me on that. I, I, I'm beginning to think Justin Myers. I, something about these Justins. Justins are always getting me. But um, I got some built knee guards. And uh, light trail use, I highly recommend these. I thought about getting some knee braces. I priced the knee braces. And eventually I probably will, but the price they went for knee braces, I'm like, good gracious. Uh, really? Y'all can't high on that, but uh, but I really, I would like to uh, change that out to an actual knee brace and um, a neck brace. That's the two things I really don't have and I need to have. Um, because you hurt your neck, you could be paralyzed for the rest of your life. I got a cousin that's that way. Jumped into a swimming pool at his house, did a million times in this one particular time. He went and shot across the pool to the other side and hit his head and messed up his spinal cord in his neck. Now he's crippled. So, um, just fair warning if you, when you're swimming or anything, protect your neck. Uh, neck braces is something else I just 
I'll be honest, I don't know why they charge so much for knee braces, neck braces, well, really any of this stuff, but any time you put safety on it, they uh, jack the price up. This here is my elbow guards. They do a pretty good job. Um, as you can tell, I've got some scuffs on that one there, and uh, it really ain't from uh, falling as much as uh, uh, banging a tree or something <laughs> with my uh, elbow, so <laughs> that helps my funny bone. It's funny how they call them funny bones, and ain't nobody found anything funny about funny bones. Now, y'all remember I did the wrister glove review where they tore up after a couple of rides. Now, the wrister has a year warranty. Uh, the place I bought them from had me mail them back to them me paying shipment on and my gloves has been under review for a couple months now so uh, I don't know I'm thinking about contacting uh, uh, the company that makes Rister and talk to them about because uh, you have a year warranty there shouldn't be no review if you got a warranty warranty it period but uh, I don't know if y'all have uh, discovered Wish.com on the uh, internet, but like them Yeti cups people are buying, paying $30 for, you can get an actual Yeti cup on there most of the time for $12. Uh, I've actually seen them a little cheaper than that. Now, a lot of people's catching on to them, and they selling out pretty quick uh, now, but... Uh, I bought a couple of them, just try them because um, I'm like, well, when I bought them, they was $8. And I said, these can't be Yetis. Something's wrong. I bought them. They got stickers in there that says Yeti. They got Yeti written on the outside. Everything, it, they're Yeti. They, everything that they have for the $30 cups in a cabinet sporting goods, they have in there. And uh, I got them on sale for, I think, $8. But normally they're 12 if I remember correctly. But uh, I bought these more. I don't know what just transpired, but my GoPro stopped running. I don't know. Uh, but uh, these gloves here, I got them on Wish for around $12. And uh, they got protection on the palm, knuckles, and... Uh, they're pretty comfortable gloves. Uh, they're built by Pro Biker Racing Equipment. Um, but go over there to uh, that wish.com. Uh, you, you'll, you'll find all kinds of stuff. Dirt bike related, um, street bikes, Harley Davidson, Ford, you name it. Let me tell you, you can get blue jeans, shirts, socks, Underwear, you name it, you can get there, and it's at good price. And um, I don't know about y'all, I'm all for saving money. And um, when you get in brand name stuff for a quarter of price, hey, check it out. Trust me. You want just a little hint. Jay, don't let Missy find it. You guys don't let your wife's find this place because every time you turn the computer on it's going to be to the wish.com and next thing you know you're going to have packages after packages delivered and that means some of it's going to be for you and you're going to be looking at it and say I wouldn't be caught dead wearing that I mean I have standards okay this is my standard none of that yuppie stuff for me well, Tinkerman out Y'all stay safe.